if uh you know there you're a big producer or something and you want us to uh you know be in your movie for a lot of money you can get in touch with our agent janet cunningham You know, we tried to stay back in the shadows out of the camera, but it was hard to do. And those directors see talent, they, they jump on it. At. This girl can laugh and cry on cue. Tinseltown has never seen anything like her or her clients. Janet Cunningham's casting agency is a clearinghouse for those who are different. What do you think? I could see that the industry was going to want this look. And I knew a lot of wonderful people who needed jobs, so I thought, I'll just be the source for this look in Hollywood and see what happens. What happened was success. Her clients have appeared in dozens of music videos, television programs, and films like Ghostbusters, Francis, and the upcoming film, Trancers. The advantage to using real punks is that you, you, can, put, you can put a costume on anyone, but you, they will never behave the same. Somehow they just don't look the same. It's like those... Indian movies in the 50s where they have all those people with brown makeup on and they just are not Indians. Here we come, walking down the blocks, we get the funniest looks from everyone who talks, hey, where the fuck is? It's hard to get more realistic than this group, known collectively as the Buttheads. I think just because we're ugly, we're ignorant? In most of the features, that are going to have a club scene, a punk rock club scene, there's going to be a band. Often they just, they, you know, they'll, they'll just say, can you get us a band, and I'll try to find a band, and this has always been a problem. As musicians in different groups off the screen, the Buttheads decided to come together to form an ensemble strictly for the movies. We can give them the, uh, the angry youth. <laughs> Broke my stick. We can give them the, we can give them the bored youth. Mm. Nothing to do today. Yeah, let's let's go to White Front. This no, let's finish here. cleaning these rocks. Basically, whatever they ask for, we can give them. We're very multi-talented individuals. What? You again? <laughs> you come back for more? <laughs> oh! Okay, man. Let's hear you talk. Don't hurt me, please, Mister. What do you want? Well, because of my physical type, you know, being uh, six foot two and 126 pounds, uh, people tend to see me as, uh, you know, somebody dying or a zombie or a, a murderer, or a psychopath or, uh, you know, that kind of thing. But I've played... You know, Ivan E. Roth is probably Janet's biggest success story. He has moved from background extra to leading man in Tyker and the soon-to-be-released Night of the Comet. Hello out there in television land. All right, here's the deal. If Bachelorette number one isn't out here in half a tick, I'm gonna ice Bachelorette number two. Got it? <clears throat> yeah, Willie is a, a zombie psycho killer uh, who uh, has control of a uh, shopping mall, and uh, the story is that this comet passes over the earth and everyone's vaporized except for two valley girls, and they decide to go on a shopping spree in the mall, and little do they know that Willie uh, controls the mall with his uh, droogies, if you will, and uh, that's, that's basically the story, a sort of a real nasty character, a real juicy role. Let's play a game. It's called Scary Noises. A year or so ago when we first started, there would be this caution and security and, you know, punk rock, wow, you know, the, some, the kids are going to come in and destroy the set and kick over the lights. And, and instead they found that uh, everybody was good, you know, was just well behaved and, and helpful and cheerful and having a good time. Now, there's no question the buttheads are for America. The question is, is America for the buttheads? It's hard to find good talent these days, but these guys... Obviously. <laughs> I love you. You're beautiful, Hollywood. I love it. It's my life show business in my blood. You know what I mean?